we're going to look at the bevel gears, which are these two gears here attached at a 90 degree angle from one another. The bevel gears will turn each other and form a 90 degree angle. Now there's other bevel gears that will make other angles, but the ones that we have are for a 90 degree turn like we see here because we have one drive shaft going this way and we have another going this direction. So the input type of movement is rotary and the output type of movement over here is also rotary. We have a constant rate of torque and speed because these two gears are the same so we don't have a change in speed or torque. The angle of input shaft to the output shaft is perpendicular since they're forming a 90 degree angle. The flow of power is reversible because if I turn this I can go over here and turn the other gear back here and it will turn the other gear so we can reverse it. Uh, the direction of travel is reversible because we could turn our crank either direction and get the gears to operate opposite depending on the way we are turning our cranks.